Butters. Hey guys, my name is Sigman and welcome to the well overdue 500 subscriber plus 500 plus subscriber video. It's a Q&A session. See, I, I tried to come up with like a flashy title, something, you know, that it was just awesome and, you know, well, snapped. But really, I couldn't come up with anything else, so that just worked out really well. 500 plus subscriber Q&A session. There we go. I'm not going to waste too much time talking before we get to the questions because there are a lot of questions. You guys were really, really curious. And from what I saw from some of them, it was really, really deep. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. What do you think the meaning of life is? Whoa, okay, that's definitely a good way to start this. Oh, <laughs> in my opinion, I mean, I'm no scholar. I'm no professor. I'm no, you know, genius by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, you guys know me. I'm an idiot, but that's okay. The meaning of life isn't the same for me as it is for you. It isn't the same for the person down the street as it is the guy next to you or gal, or, you know, I'm not being picky and I'm not trying to assume anything. If this was 2016, somebody would have said I was assuming something, but I'm not assuming anything. But life, I guess, can be defined by just what barriers you put down, what you accept, what you don't accept, where you plan on going, where you hope to go, where you are now and where you've been. All of your experiences culminating into one thing and then from that point forward, you decide, okay, is this where I want to be? Is this my life? Life is defined by where you're at and where you are going. There we go. That works. Here I am being, being, I don't know what the hell I'm being. This is going to be a rather loaded question, so bear with me. What is your history as a gamer? Before YouTube, were you into gaming, or is this something you got more into than the more you got into the YouTube scene? Also, a follow-up question. What would you have to say your top three favorite games are you covered in YouTube? Now, that's a very good question. Now, I've been playing games most all my life. I was never really dedicated to one genre, per se, until I hit middle school, middle school to high school. It's when I really started to love role-playing games. My first role-playing game I had ever played, I mean, outside of Zelda, I mean, Zelda's more of an action type RPG, but I mean, like, in terms of just, like, your typical role-playing game was Final Fantasy 3 for Super Nintendo. It's actually Final Fantasy 6, but it's Final Fantasy 3. No, I'm sorry, I'm wrong. Breath of Fire. Breath of Fire was my first ever real dipping of the toe into the role-playing game genre. Man, man, just thinking about that nostalgia and it makes me feel really, really old because Breath of Fire is a classic. I don't know if any of you have played it, but if you can ever play it, play it. It is very, very good. Over the years, I always stuck with the role-playing game genre. I mean, occasionally I'd branch out into a first-person shooter. I mean, Borderlands, which is like a FPS slash RPG. But then you have, I played a little bit of Call of Duty. I was terrible at that. And I mean, I was fucking awful at that. By fucking awful, I mean, I can't see who's shooting at me and I can't see where I'm shooting. Before I got into YouTube, I played World of Warcraft and I played that off and on for about seven years. And then I got bored with it. You know, all my friends quit. It wasn't fun anymore. And then I, when I got into YouTube, I just quit playing it. And then with YouTube, I've covered a a lot of games. I mean, it's awesome. You know, I've done all kinds of different things. So it's like my mind is it's like it's like kind of like being educated a little bit, except nowhere near as important. It's like my mind is expanded and educated in all these video games. And I'm sorry, it's daytime right now. So both of my birds feel the need to scream at me. The top three favorite games I covered. I mean, Binding of Isaac is getting up there because I've been playing that off camera and I've been having a whole lot of fun with it. And I really wish that some of the times that I was playing it, I was recording it because I've gotten some really just insane power combat combinations and I've been wiping stuff out like it was nothing. I mean, it was just really, really cool. But then when I recorded, it, it's like, oh shit, I'm, I'm, ju I'm just embarrassing myself. The other game would be Ben and Ed. And then I would have to say Papers, Please, because I had a lot of fun doing the Glory to Historica. I thought about picking that game back up, but I mean, it's been a long time and that game's probably dead, long forgotten by now, at least by, you know, in terms of entertainment standards of being able to upload to YouTube. Because it, while it would be cool to play some older games, we Kind of had to stay relevant, but Phoenix, you know that as well as I do, buddy. Just how much of a full-time job is it dealing with that amazing beard of yours? It's not that complicated. It really, really isn't. All you need to do is uh, shampoo it with beard shampoo. And the reason why I say beard shampoo, the all natural stuff, not like the stuff you could buy at a store. I think it's, I can't remember what, what the brand is or whatever, but there's one out there that sells, but it's all like artificial stuff. I mean, you don't want that on your face. I mean, really, I know you can put it in your, like here on your scalp. I don't have hair. So all I have is this. So I want to take care of this and I want to be pretty. But in all seriousness, I go for the all natural beard shampoo every now and then. And I put beard oil in. Now, if I really want to be Fancy. Like I want to go out on a night on the town with my best gal. Yeah, that's right. I said best gal. What, you want to fight about it? Now, depending on how fancy I want to look really affects how long it takes. It can take anywhere between five minutes to 30 minutes. I mean, really, really depends. And it also, if my beard is cooperative, because right now it's halfway decent, but when it wants to do whatever it wants, it like likes to curl and it goes everywhere. 
and it likes to piss me off. But again, it really depends. Yeah, that that's the general answer. This one's from a feminine drama. What's your name? The question's been bugging me. I've said it before, actually. People know me as JT, or you can call me Jason. Last name, I'm not going to say. I mean, obviously, I mean, you can probably find me, but I've set up some things to kind of keep my life separate, my real life separate from YouTube. I want to keep the two separate. Yeah, that you, of course, you know my real name now, but you can call me Sig. I mean, a lot of people, a lot of my YouTube friends who know my real name still call me Sig because they prefer Sig over my real name because that's what they always know me as. I quickly learned the value of keeping your real life separate from your YouTube life. I've run into a few situations where people are talking to you when they meet you personally, you know, as a person, not as the YouTuber. You, you kind of get that vibe that they're seeing, that they have you on that pedestal. Maybe not like, I'm not saying like an elevated pedestal, like you're great or something, but they, they have you on that level of that psychotic entertainer that you guys always see in the videos. And I'm not always that way. I can be pretty chill when I have to be, or I can be as insane as I need to be. It just, again, really depends the situation. The situation depends on what kind of mood I'm in, if I'm feeling randy or not. No, I won't. Randy, that was a bad choice of words. Poor choice of words. It just depends on the mood, I guess. That, that's what I meant. Have I listened to Undertale the Musical? Nope. And what is Aleppo? <laughs> wow, what an actual jerk setting rules for his viewer base. I request that you only play Roblox. Yeah, I know he's kidding about that. He's referring to what I was talking about. The situation with, with some people getting out of hand with requests, demands, and yada, yada, yada. But yeah, I know he's kidding. Where are you from? Okay, I can go ahead and say this. I am from Ohio. Not getting too specific. I live in Columbus, Ohio. I mean, it's nothing fancy here. I mean, the weather kind of sucks. I mean, anybody in Ohio can tell you that. Like, what is it? The, what's the saying? If you're sick of the weather, wait five minutes. Yeah, that that's that's the truth. What brought you into YouTube? Being perfectly honest, and this is gonna sound cliche as hell because everybody says this, or at least not, well, not everybody, but a lot of people say this. Markiplier, I was watching, uh, I was looking up Five Nights at Freddy's because I had read somewhere something about it. People were saying, oh, it's the craze right now. All the kids love it. And me, back then, not knowing what the hell I was doing, I was like, hey, I'd like to be hip and cool with some people, you know, I could like, I could have some friends and what's this? And then I looked up Five Nights at Freddy's and I saw fail. I was like, oh, okay, this could be good. It's the Markiplier's fail compilation for Five Nights at Freddy's on the 20, 20, 20, 20 mode. I think it's 420s, I don't remember. And then I realized, wow, this is a lot of fun, you know, this looks like like it could be a lot of fun for me. I needed a hobby. My wife kept telling me, hey, you need a hobby. You need to find something to do other than play video games all the time. Ah, I see now I'm recording myself. I have an outlet and I get to play video games. Bonus. But yeah, that's what kind of got my foot into the door and inspired me to start. And then I met some of the fans. I started meeting other fans of him when I went to Indie PopCon and that really drove it home for me. That really solidified me wanting to do this. Because I just, just being able to see the kind of impact that you can have on somebody's life just by being able to make them laugh or smile or something like that. That's just freaking awesome. It really, really is. And I don't, I know I say freaking awesome a lot. It's like, I can't really go, that's the bee's knees because that's tacky. I mean, you want to sound, you know, don't you want to sound traditional when you say stuff like that, but you don't want to sound too old fashioned. That way, so you'd wonder, look at me like, hey, Sigman, why isn't your beard white? Because you're making a bunch of dated references, which I'm kind of good for, I guess. But here I am going on a tangent being random, but yes. Watching Markiplier is what got me into it. Indie PopCon is is what solidified me wanting to keep doing it. What other YouTubers inspired you to start your own channel or that you look up to? This goes back to the original or the question before talking about Markiplier. The one I look up to now, I guess the one I kind of like, I really inspired me to do some of the crazier edits would be Tear of Grace. I love that guy's stuff. He puts a lot of work into his videos and I really underestimated just really how much effort goes into that when I started throwing the crazier, goofier edits into my own videos. And it just, it turned like a simple project, usually like with the Let's Play, it could take me like in maybe 20 minutes to an hour tops. It pushed the projects from that to an hour, two hours to four hours. I mean, it really depends on how much editing I want to do, but it takes a really, really long time. So I gained a lot of respect for him for that. And I, and his content's great. He's hilarious. Favorite genre of music and or m musician. I don't really listen to music that much anymore. I mean, I really don't. I mean, outside of like video game music, the music I hear on here, I, I guess like some heavy metal, some heavy metal, just because whenever I feel like raging out to something, if I'm not playing a rage game or just easy listening stuff to relax, so I can keep Find my center and get my zen. Nothing really too specific. I mean, I guess one of my favorite bands is Secret and Whisper. They don't exist anymore, but if you ever feel like looking them up, look them up. Very, very talented. Very, very, just a really good band all around. What is your favorite junk food? My weakness is Butterfingers. That's, if you want to see me squeal like a three-year-old girl, bring me a whole thing of Butterfingers. Yeah. I will warn you though, you may want to drop the bag at least five feet away from me because I may devour your arm in the process of trying to get the Butterfingers. 
Are you secretly a broccoli? I mean, by the chin, I guess, you know, it depends on it. If it's frizzy enough, you could call it that. But I mean, with the, with the red down here, you'd probably say it's like covered in fungus or something. On a serious note, do you ever plan on possibly doing a setup tour? Yes, I have to clean my office first. <laughs> it is a complete wreck. I need to vacuum. I have to clean my desk off because it is dirty. It's just everything's a mess right now. And I would feel really, really bad for you guys to see it and see the squalor that I, that I, that I work in. Just the mess that I am dealing with. It's all my fault though, I just need to get off my ass and start cleaning, but ugh. It's like cleaning your room, you don't really want to do it. But yes, the setup tour will be happening at some point. As soon as you put on your dad pants, you just can't take them off. How do you have so much energy? I don't like putting on the dad pants, but sometimes you know you just gotta lay down the law. Uh, with the energy, it's a state of mind, and sometimes it's really just like the flow of things or if you like your energy is in it or not. My energy's into this right now. I know I seem a little bit bogged down. It's because I'm tired. I worked last night. The really, really long night, and it is like, what, what time is it now? This is this video is probably gonna be like, yeah, it's like 10.05 right now. I've been up since like 7.30 p.m. last night, so I'm a little tired, so I apologize if I don't seem as energy as usual in these things, but yeah, that's just going on. But anyways, to answer the question, it is a state of mind. You can go in and have a good flow going when you're recording. You could do just about anything with it. You can go just off the walls and everything. Well, I mean, you don't want to go off the walls, at least with these, because they could fall down and they're a real pain in the ass to get back up. Just, just, just heads up. Be safe when you're bouncing off the walls. There we go. What is your favorite thing about your fan base? Hi, by the way, I haven't seen you around for a bit. The, my favorite thing about you guys is the fact that no matter what happens, if I'm down on myself, when the chips are down, you all have always been positive. You know, you've always been there for me saying, hey, no, 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 don't freak out. Don't, don't freak out that, you know, the channel isn't like exploding or anything. Just take your time and have fun with it. You all remind me that this is fun. Yeah, you know, I'm not saying I forget that it's fun, but you all just kind of keep me grounded. You keep me just the, like a big reality check for me. And it's awesome. It really, that, that's what I love the most about you guys. If I had to kind of put a number two below that, I just say you guys are fun to talk to. You're fun for me to spill my beans on these vlogs. It's just cool to interact with people. But number one, yeah, it's just that again, when the chips are down, you all are there for me and you let me know. You keep me grounded with that. You know, well, that way so I don't get too bogged down by subscriber numbers or view numbers or anything like that. So thank you all so much for that. What is your favorite quote? Don't really have one. Do you have any specific position of living, like mentality or something. I'm assuming he's like talking about where I am in my life. I mean, my mentality right now is it's changing. It's actually always changing. I, I never, I always thought of just, oh, don't take things too seriously. And then it goes, okay, let's take some things seriously, but not seriously. Now, the reason why it's always changing because stuff in life always happens that really changes your perspective. So, I mean, my mentality right now is to just try to you know, live life the best I can with my wife and my family, my dogs, and just to try to have fun where I can. I, Cause you don't want to get bogged down with too many things or else your life gets miserable. Who is your favorite YouTuber? I'm not going to be cliche and be like, oh, it's Markiplier or Jacksepticeye cause of the wapoo or you know, the pew woo 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 woo. I'm not going to go that far. I mean, they are good YouTubers. I mean, they are kind of in the top area, I guess. I, have, I kind of fell off of watching other YouTubers work to be honest, cause I don't have a lot of time. I've been recently trying to get back into it. My favorite YouTuber right now would probably be uh, definitely uh, up there. I guess like in the upper echelons of my choices, I would have to say Tear of Grace is one and PewDiePie sometimes depending on like the direction of his content because sometimes he comes out with really, really funny stuff and the others are just kind of, I don't know what to say. I'm not dissing them, but they're different. <laughs> Okay, so I think that is finally it. We hit the end of it. Wow, this has actually gone on for a bit. I think this will be the officially the longest vlog that I've ever done for this. Thank you all so much for the questions. Thank you for those who got actively involved in it. And that's really, really awesome. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. I'm seeing some familiar faces, some ones I haven't seen around the channel for a while. So, hello. It's really good to see all you back, but it's also good to see the new faces. I hope I answered your questions the way you wanted them. I mean, if you have anything else you'd like to say, leave some love in the comment section down below. But And I got to edit this. this gonna be really late so i hope you can forgive me for that but thank you all so much for watching thank you so much for over 500 subscribers i think we're at like 586 right now and that's just freaking awesome now i'm starting to get tired now it's starting to hit me <laughs> well okay i'm gonna get into it so let's get a little bit of energy everybody come on we can do this let's find our center find our zins and it is that time thank you guys so much for watching if you liked the video be sure to hit that like button like button share the video with a friend that would be great and hey if you are new to the channel feel free to hit that subscribe button to join the sigman army today i'm so blown away by all the support you guys have given me i am grateful for it thank you all again we just can keep trucking here hashtag road to 1000 and all that but thank you all again so much for watching and as always, we'll see you in the next video.